16 years ago, I was down here in Lafouche Parish to do a story on a woman who had become a real success story. She was a hairdresser with an idea, scented candles, and she started making them at her home, and before you know it, Amy's Candles was born. My whole house was, was a, a warehouse. Now, more than five years later, Amy has a real warehouse where her candles are produced by her staff and shipped out to her eight stores across South Louisiana and with the internet all over the country. A map outside her office shows just some of the places where her products have been sent to over the years. And business is booming for this hairdresser turned entrepreneur. Now, 16 years later, we decided to revisit Amy and a lot has changed over the years. After our story aired in 2005, Amy lost her husband, then Katrina hit, and next, her health went. I ended up being getting real sick. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this condition. It's called icy painful bladder syndrome, and I had chronic pelvic pain also. And it put you on your back. Yes, I was bedridden. Amy lived with that ailment for years. In the meantime, her business started suffering. She says she was cheated out of millions of dollars. There were lawsuits and all kinds of problems. Amy's candle stores were gone, and she went from producing more than two million candles a year to only a couple of hundred thousand. Finally, though, when Amy thought she was getting back on her feet, tragedy struck again. About two months ago, she lost her son. My son, um, he, he was hooked on drugs, and he actually had, was in a rehab, and was, he went to get detox, and he was heading to a rehab, and that's what he got murdered in between. Even with all that, Amy put her faith in God and said she would keep on going. God gave me this business. You know, he came to me and gave me this business. And he told me what, what I had to do to take care of, you know, his people and different things, build churches, whatever. God blessed me with this, and the enemy is real, tries to stop you, because I was chosen set apart to do things for God, you know. And Did you really believe that? Yes, I do. And um, the enemy will try to do anything he can to stop from doing God's work. It's that simple. At her now downsized business, the signs of her faith are everywhere. And while she still makes some of the same scented candles that made her famous, like vanilla sugar cookie, most have inspirational messages. Even with scents like Cajun Chick and Glamour Chick. Actually, that smells pretty good. Her faith is always on display. There's now even a God chick. What sells more, God chick or glamour chick? We had to make a batch of God chick last night. So God chick is winning? Yeah. And I actually have a Jesus candle that I'm uh, trademarked that I'm going to be coming out with. And what will that be? It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, which I already sell it. And it's just, it's just, uh, it's really, it's dreamy. It just feels like heaven. It just, it's heavenly. And it'll be called Jesus candle. Yes, he's the light of the world. Is that God chick over there, the small one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see, I can smell that. That does actually smell, smell very good. I <laughs> told you. you that smell smells the great. peaches no. and the magnolia and the raspberry? That smells wonderful. Yeah. I was surprised how good the Cajun man smelled. I know. Yes, she does make a Cajun man candle. It's a pretty big seller. There's also a swamp man candle, which she asked me to smell. That's the swamp man? Smell of muscadine wine in there. Who? If you like <laughs> muscadine. No, no, it, it, did... it's strong. So this is where all the candles are made, though. Yeah. Walking with Amy through her warehouse in Thibodeau, you can sense the determination to keep her business growing. And no matter what else life throws at her, she says nothing will stop her. But Amy's back, and, oh, and definitely. You're, ready, you're ready to. Amy's back, and I'm, re I'm ready to, to get that monthly subscription. If you. If a customer has problems going to the store, or can't find me, all they have to do is go on my website and monthly, like I have monthly subscriptions, you, you just click monthly. All right, now, Amy, that, that sounds like a commercial. What okay, I'm okay. Is Amy's back <laughs> and Amy's ready to kick butt. Yes. Yes, I am. In a religious way. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, one, one of the scents that really got her on the map was her gardenia scent. You can find them in Ritz hotels all around the country. She's in a bunch of stores. She's hoping to reopen some of those Amy Can Amy's Candle stores in the near future. And on a personal note, she is asking, 
pleading with anyone who knows anything about the murder of her son to please contact the LeFou Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. And uh, I, I brought uh, uh, scented candles for Ashiba, for a Chef Kev, and for Peyton. So everybody gets a candle today.